Hey, how you doing? It's Dominic here. Welcome to my disaster room. Quick explanation about the room. <clears throat> yes, it is messy. And uh, it's purposely done this way. I uh, want... This is the only room in my house that's completely a disaster. And um, I'm a creative person. Uh, so I uh, find that rooms that are... Are, that have no organization um, allow the freedom in my mind to go where it wants to go. Um, I mean, every every room in my uh, in the rest of my house is clean and tidy. It's clean in here, but just not tidy. So um, anyway, just quick explanation about the room because I know a lot of people will say something about the room. And no, I'm not going to clean it up. This is the way I like it. This is the way this room has to be. This room has to be this way. Um, you got it. Maybe, I don't know if you guys have one like it. Uh, and if you don't, try it out because I think um, it gives you time. It gives you a space that you can just, ah, I'm just going to do whatever I want. Feel how I want. Be how I want in this room. So, um, okay. Topic today is liars in the knife world in the knife community um, and I'm talking about mostly individuals and people that have you know um, knife envy it's a lot like penis envy mine's bigger mine's better mine's better performing this that whatever people get jealous people get envious and people want to have a knife that makes other people envious about what they have and that it just goes it's it, it's uh, it, uh, ubiquitous around every sort of material possession whether it's jewelry whether it's cars whether it's houses whether it's clothing whatever people want to have stuff that makes other people go Oh man, I wish I had that. And that's not me. I don't work that way. I buy knives that I want for myself that make me happy. If I buy a motorcycle, I have a 2007 Harley Davidson Night Rod Special. Now, when I laid eyes on that motorcycle, I wanted that bike because it spoke to me. I did not want this possession to make other to, to wave in front of other people's faces. Um, now, if you want to now, just to explain where I'm coming from with liars and 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 showing off and things like that, I'll give you a, a very brief history about uh, what happened. Um, you know, I'm not, I'm not professing that I'm better than you or better than that they, I'm just better than I used to be. That's just how I live my life. I want to be better than I used to be. Now, long time ago, so I'm 46 years old now, a long time ago, I, um, I, uh, used to be like anyone else. I would lie when it ne when I felt it was necessary now I've never lied maliciously in the sense where it hurt somebody uh, or damaged something or someone I never lied in in that respect it would be a lie to cover something that I didn't want exposed about myself let's say like uh, people call those things like white lies uh, I don't know, a lie is a lie to me. Um, and why do I feel this way now, different from yesterday, is because um, in 99, make it short, I'm gonna make it short. In 99, I broke my back. And uh, before this, I used to go to the gym, public gym. I used to have, you know, 100 friends. Uh, my phone used to ring off the hook all the time. I'd always have somewhere to go, someone to see, you know, or someone calling me to do something, whatever. And uh, after I broke my back, I was bedridden for for seven or eight months straight. 
And then I was really housebound and I was hobbling on a cane for about seven years. And it wasn't until about the 10th year that I could just toss the cane. And, you know, I was still walking like a duck, you know, broken back style, you know, and everything else. And, um, and whatever for a while, for a long time. Um, and, you know, I'm still, I still got my, I still have my neck and back issues and stuff like that. Uh, a lot of, I got a lot of issues with neuralgia and things like that. So, anyway, that's, that's, and what happened in 99 is like, okay, I used to be one way and, I, and my direction wasn't very spiritual. It was just... It was more animal than anybody, than you know, than, like most people. And um, after I hurt myself, I was bedridden and I was alone a lot. And uh, and you know what? A lot of my friends stopped calling me. Not every friend. There was some real close, true ones. But a lot of these other ones just got weeded out all of a sudden. They all disappeared. It's like, oh well, Dominic can't do can't do anything. So whatever. So. Um, um, you know, and because of my injury, I was very woe was me at first. Of course, uh, I was in great pain, and I used to be uh, I used to be free, and then I was not free anymore. I was crippled. So um, it caused me to turn inwards. So after I turned inwards and became more spiritual, not religious. I don't want to get into religion. I don't follow any religious uh, denomination or anything like that. I. Uh, and I'm not putting down people who are religious. I'm just saying I don't. And but I I don't need religion to govern my life. I don't need religion to keep me straight. I don't need religion to keep me good or to keep me true. Um, I found that within myself. So um, okay. So just to give you an idea where I used to be and where I am now, but I'm still not talking like I'm holier than than, than thou. Uh, I'm not. I'm just holier than I used to be. <laughs> you know, uh, I, I'm just better than I was. And I'm not saying I'm better than you, because you're, you're as capable as I am, or more so, to achieve these things. Now, okay, so, having said that, having cleared up my disaster room and where, I've, where I came from in my past and where I am now, I don't lie anymore. I don't need to. Because uh, if you don't like me, tough tits... You don't like me. And I don't cry. I don't get upset when somebody doesn't like me or somebody's upset with me. It's your problem, not mine. That's the way I am. So. Um, Alright, so now, liars in the knife community. And it's, and it's driven by envy. They want to be like you. They want to be like you. They want a knife like you. They want... See, when somebody shows a really flashy knife... I don't know, let me take... Let me find something half flashy decent flashy I don't know how about this uh, snowdy uh, HK snowdy it's it's semi rare um, it's not like super high end or anything but just because it's a, a rare a rare knife HK snowdy design um, discontinued you can't find these anymore readily and the ones you can't the ones you do find are getting a higher priced and this is mint condition and everything else. So now if I start, if I show you this knife in a picture in the knife community, uh, a lot of people will like you. Put that like, that Facebook like, 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 you're getting like, 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 like. And then some other guy shows their lower end knife and they get less likes and they don't like that. They want more likes. Likes means something good and I don't know it's almost like money these days. Facebook likes are like emotional money. So, um, what happens is a lot of people start to embellish. And embellishing is a lie. Uh, Half-truths or non-truths is a lie. There's either the truth or not. That's really, there's no win between. It's either the truth or it's not the truth. I've had guys say, oh, I've made knives before because they, they see how knife makers are respected in the knife world. They're like celebrities, knife celebrities. So people will say, oh, I made knives, right? And then later in, in, later in conversation with me, 
they'll ask me, the same people who said they used to make knives, you know, and don't anymore for some reason, um, will, will start asking me, so what's a good steel for a knife? Well, if you make knives, don't you know? Um, what tools do I need? Well, same thing, if you make knives, but I, I won't, I won't talk, uh, uh, um, condescendingly like that to the, to the person. I'll just sort of, and it's not my, it's, it's not my place to, to smack them. I mean, life will smack them uh, good enough. So I'm not naming names or anything like that uh, here. Uh, that would be in poor taste. But, um, you know, how do you make knives? And what's the good methods? And what's this and what's that? And it's like, well, uh, I thought you were a knife maker. <laughs> if you're a knife maker, why don't you tell me how it is, right? Like I've made knives, I know how to make knives. Um, I'm 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 currently uh, revamping my whole garage, um, buying new equipment and everything else, so that I can make knives on a more regular basis and when and more on demand, instead of once in a while, and when I get a chance or when I get around to it or whatever. So. Um, so I know how to make knives, but am I a, am I a, a high experienced knife maker? No, but I have a lot of experience in machining and tools and, uh, and, and metal working and material working and all kinds of things like that for years, years and years, you know, cutting steel and working steel and all kinds of stuff like that. And I can, uh, I can, uh, take all of my skills and, and my creativity and I can, channel them into making knives so uh, I got sort of a head start when it comes to things like that and I don't mind giving people advice I like I'm a helpful guy but it's um but when you say you've made knives and then later you forgot you told me because liars sort of forget that they, they lied about something it's really hard to keep track of all your lies but when you tell the truth you don't have to keep track of anything because it's always the truth and that's the way I am now. I don't, I don't, I don't hide the truth anymore, even if it stinks. I'm gonna say it. So um, my point is, is that I see it, and it comes out in the wash, and people don't realize it. What happens is, it's, 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 it's a, it's a universal law. I realize this. Uh, it's been told to me. I've read it. Gurus, everything else, all say the same thing. It's a universal law that a liar or the lie will reveal itself as the lie and uh, oh my music stopped i'm going to continue it right now i love bach i'm a headbanger but i also love bach so and all my classical music so um the, the lie reveals itself and i've i've i'm a very I, i'm very observant and i will catch little things, little nuances, and, and go, aha, aha, didn't you just say that last year, two years ago, five years ago, ten years ago? People, I, I said, hey, you remember that time you said this? I'm like, dude, you remember that? <laughs> yeah, I remember that, I remember that. So, um, so people don't realize that I don't have a memory like a goldfish, like most other people. I remember, I remember these little things. And I'm like, remember that? Yep. Now, okay. And, um, and if I lose people from this video, see ya. I don't want you anyway. Um, because you know what? It's about taking the higher the higher ground and if you're not on that higher ground or if you don't want to come up to the higher ground I ain't coming down to the lower ground to meet you you have to come up here to meet me so the point point is this I'm putting this out there because some of you know that I'm talking to you about being a liar and I catch you all the time and uh, I don't always throw it in your face. And this is sort of throwing it in your face without naming your name. Um, 
in, in the knife world, uh, there's, see, a lot of people think that because you like knives and they like knives, you're the same type of person. Nope, not at all. <laughs> there's so many different people out there, and because I like knives and you like knives, that's pretty much, most of the time, that's pretty much the only, um, the only, um, the only same things, that's the only things that are same about us, that we like knives. So, um, really I don't want to rant that much more. This is more like uh, just sort of a quick little video. Well, it's not quick now. I think it's going to be, I think we're up to 20 minutes. And if you and if you, if you stay with me this long, wow, thank you. So I'm just going to cut it here. And, um, and I say that a lot in my videos. I'm going to cut it here and then boom, 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 boom. I keep going. <laughs> but I am going to cut it here because really there's not much more to say about liars. Liars are liars, but what I'm trying to say is that I see you, I catch you, and uh, you can't do a better job hiding it because you will reveal yourself again. You will. And um, most people that I have confronted, whether it be on social media or face to face, I'm the same. I'm the same guy in social media that I am right here in your face. I'm not one of those people like one way, one way. I'm a tough guy. One, you know, a lot of tough, like a uh, uh, internet tough guys, but they're not in person. I'm not saying I'm a tough guy, but uh, I'm. I don't fear anybody. So let's put it that way. Um, I am. I am the way I am here. Is the way I am everywhere. And uh, I, like I said, I and that's, that's 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 called being true, and I like being true. So um, that's sort of my venting, my venting, and a message. And at the same time, uh, you know, don't be jealous about somebody else's stuff. Don't have knife envy. You know what? I'm showing you a knife so that you can enjoy it as well. Okay, yeah, you're not holding it. You don't possess it. But you can enjoy me sharing this with you, and I'd like you to share your 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 knives with me. And it doesn't have to be the same cost or the same quality brand or whatever. Just show me a knife. I, I'm gonna like it. I like knives. Uh, I like the knife world. I like the whole knife subject. So um, that's really you know enjoy your what you do. Enjoy what you're about, uh, and don't have to lie about, you know, trying to talk, trying to be something you're not, and uh, don't have to, and and because you own a two thousand dollar knife doesn't make you better than anybody else. In fact, a lot of these people who own these two thousand dollar knives buy them so that they can throw it in your face, and. Uh, and that's sort of what I was talking about with when I when I was talking about my motorcycle. Um, I bought my motorcycle, 2007 uh, Harley Davidson uh, V Rod. Uh, for me, I want it. It's not to, just to throw it in your face. And one thing that I hated about this bike, and how can how can I hate a bike like this? Well, it's an awesome bike. It's an it's a mean machine. I love this thing. But what I hated about it was I got a lot of attention for the bike. Wow, man, like on the street, like the lights are changing green for us to go. And people are like, dude, where'd you get the bike? And wow, 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 wow. It's like, I don't want the bike for the wow. I want, to, want it to wow me, not to wow you. And that's the same thing with knives. I buy this knife because it wows me and I don't care if it wows you. And that's how you should, you can't be like me, but I, in, in one sense, you kind of have to sort of like something for yourself. And when you don't like it for yourself, that thing becomes dirty. It doesn't, it's not, it's not a, you can't enjoy it, right? But what, there was a saying, if you live, if you live for someone's approval, you will die with their disapproval. So that's that's a good that's a good saying. I like that. I can't remember I can't remember who it's attributed to, but whatever. You can always check it up on Google and find out who said it. Um, but that's a good saying. That's a good quote. So um, 
love what you do, whether it's knives or anything else or what you have, love it for what it does for you, not for how it makes other people feel. Like it doesn't make you feel special, it makes you feel special that everyone likes your knife, but you're a piece of crap. You know what I mean? You just you just have a great knife. You know how many people have great knives, but they're shitty people? More than more than I'd like to admit. Anyways, guys, peace.